bring you a couple of songs there, and uh, we'll bring you back up here in just a minute to do a gospel song. But uh, Tommy lives over in the Mount area, North Carolina area, where Andy Griffith, Barney Pfeiffer are from, uh, good folks over there. And, uh, we'll, we'll bring a, a fellow up right now. There's not many of us people that come from eastern North Carolina that are into bluegrass because they tried to get us to play beach music, didn't they? Yep. Yeah, that's what they wanted us to play back when was beach music because we didn't wear our shoes, you know, because we were always in the sand, you know, soaking the sand up. Anyway, Brad and I are two of the very few that, that come from the eastern part of North Carolina that play bluegrass. And uh, Brad, I've known Brad since, since uh, he was just a little guy, just uh, growing up to, to play bluegrass music. And he, he did play with Carolina Road a long time ago. And we keep finding him. We keep finding him around the corner somewhere. But anyway, we're going to bring him up. He's got a great CD out right now. And uh, I've always thought that Brad's strongest point of everything that he does with his gospel singing, and because I think he feels it inside. And when you feel it, you can sing it. And you know, we need more people doing more strong gospel music right now. We sure do. And that's what I'm, I'm pushing him, saying that's what you need to be doing right there. And on our new CD, we've got a song called I Hear Angels, and he's going to be singing that, and I've already told him it's going to be a gospel hit. We're going to bring him up and let him tell you about his new CD. And uh, first, speaking of, uh, speaking of gospel music and needing some things, uh, sorry about all the problems that you had at the school in Florida. I tell you, those kids have really started something big, though, haven't they? Yeah. I know. I mean, that's good. I'm proud of them. That's good. They're speaking out, and somebody needs to. Uh, I tell you, I can solve the problems of the school, though, with just few little things they can do. All they got to do is put the Lord back in school. They put him back. They put him back. They start with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, and then they say the Lord's Prayer. The school day will get started off right again. The way I, the way I grew up, the way Brad grew up. All of us Eastern North Carolina kids grew up with that. Did they do that in the West, Josh? Yeah. Okay. Then we played right afterwards. Okay. Then we went out in the sandbox. Right? Brad, come on up and tell them about your CD and your song, and let's, uh, let's do a beautiful gospel number. You might have something picked out for it. Yeah, right. Appreciate that. Actually, Shannon, we've got a new CD out on Pine Castle Records. Got it with us today. And this is a song that uh, really hits home to me. You know, River Ever recorded, and um, this is my grandma's favorite song. Just a couple weeks ago, we were down in well, Brooksville at the uh, Florida Classic, and uh, I had a good week with my grandmother before we went down there, and uh, she was uh, called home to be with the Lord. So. We laughed, we cried, we had a good time, told stories. I spent the whole week with her, and we sang this song. And uh, about six months before we recorded this song, I was able to go visit her in the assisted living home she was living in. And, and uh, we always sang this song, and I was able to record me and her singing it one last time. And it's on the front part of this song on my CD, so it's kind of a tribute to her, because I know she's in a better place, and I'm kind of jealous, to be honest with you. So I want to tell it good land. I'm kind of want to see for the country to where I have never been before. No sad goodbye will then be spoken for time no matter anymore you
once the few 